Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Outriders build video. So in this video I'd like to share with you my Devastator Warden build. So I'll show you all of the mods, my skills and everything and then we're also going to do a run on uh, T15 for one of the expeditions, uh, Archways of Anarch. And as you can see the best time I'm able to uh, get the gold reward on tier 15 so you can see the build in action. So, let's not wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so as I said, first I'm going to start with the mods, then I'm going to show you the skills, then I'll show you, I'll show you the class abilities, and then we'll do a T15 run at the expeditions, because uh, that's where I farm my legendaries. Now, to be honest, I've been working on this build since uh, World Tier, since the main storyline, uh, because there were some mods that are pretty much very easy to get uh, during the play gameplay, like for exam example, Seismic Impulse, which does damage uh, every six seconds, which is around you, right? And uh, the Ice Trap, for example, as well, one of my favorites, when HP drops to 30, freezes the enemies. Uh, then we got the shield uh, blast, which works only if you are a trickster, because it turns out tricksters have, are able to make that shield, but if you're not, like you're a warden class or any other class, you will need uh, this specific uh, mod. Uh, you can see it's Preserverance Shield. I do apologize if I mispronounce something. I am from Ukraine, so sometimes I mispronounce stuff. So what this does is basically when my HP drops 30%, it gives me shield. Shield lasts for like two three seconds and then it's destroyed once it's destroyed uh, my shield blast blast takes place and deals 150,000 damage to all enemies within five meters and before I used to use also the zap which used to do damage while the shield is active uh, so I was just kind of a side note but ever since I killed the final boss on uh, the main story I was very lucky to get a shotgun which I dismantled in order to uh, get this weapon mod which absolutely changed things around for this build because I mean over here you can see my armor is sitting at uh, 216k my HP is sitting at 33.3k so I'm, I'm very tanky I'm like I'm taking those punches like crazy <laughs> but my foul power <laughs> is not good like literally this skill is the killer and I'll show you right now why so uh, these are the mods uh, for my weapons uh, com uh, shadow comment yeah shadow comment uh, calls down a comment deals 210k damage to enemies within 3.3.5 meters radius every three seconds by the way this comment also interrupts the elite skills so when they're casting a skill it can interrupt it and that skill will not take place same goes with that uh, moaning winds so if I'm fast enough and I'm able to tap it reload my gun and make the explosion it will interrupt the skill and the, like if he's casting like a healing skill he's not gonna heal himself or any other skills you just gotta be quick enough because those things can be triggered like within seconds uh, for my uh, Thunderbird this is my automatic shotgun Thunderbird Assault Rifle, Ultimate Storm Whip, uh, basically does uh, lightning damage uh, for 34k every one second, and once again the reload. So I reload this weapon, boom. And for the pistol, I got uh, once again the same Moaning Winds when the reload explosion, but also uh, Clip Combustion. So basically that also creates a shockwave dealing another 100, oh, well, let's kind of sum it up. 100k damage so that's over there almost half a million damage <laughs> now the cool trick with this right mainly I use only Thunderbird these things I shoot out the bullets and I always keep them unloaded so check this out let me take out the shotgun shoot the entire clip then I'll take out the pistols shoot the entire clip then I'm on my assault rifle right you might have already noticed this explosion blast, right? Uh, so basically the idea is I'm shooting, 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 having fun, right? Reload, explosion. Change weapon, explosion. Change weapon, explosion. That's almost a million damage right here within a second. Although you can always get interrupted and stuff like that. So I always make sure that uh, 
my shotgun, right, is always at zero, and my pistols are always at zero as well. And this one is my main weapon. Uh, usually the thing is, like, um, when I shoot the entire clip of this weapon, right, I usually make the blast. So when that happens, I know that I can go ahead and switch to my other weapons and make the explosion. Get it? <laughs> You'll see it in action. It's actually pretty cool. Now, this build it might not be like the very most OP builds or whatever, but it's actually pretty fun to play with. Now, for my armor uh, mods, I got the Kingslayer, critical shots on leads increase the firepower by uh, 32k for 6 seconds, the Seismic Impulse, that's uh, 96k damage uh, every 6 seconds uh, within 5 meter radius. Then uh, my armor, uh, not impressed, reduces the damage taken from elites by 25%. And eye strap. I already gave a lot of credit for this mod. I absolutely love this mod, and I think I'm gonna use that mod with every single build, uh, not just the Devastator class, but I'm planning to do and to play around with other builds. I actually got a full set of this baby right here, so that's uh, what I'm gonna work on next. Uh, so then we got the shield blast and rejuvenation. Sure. So basically, when I fully recover my HP, I get firepower, anomaly power, and armor for 8 seconds. And that can be done every 10 seconds. For my gloves, uh, Captain Hunter increases your damage against elites by 25%. The, uh, damage Absorber increases your armor by 52k. And Resistance by uh, 10%. So, man, that mod is crazy. Look at my boom. Oh, I'm losing way more damage. What the hell? This thing on its own almost gives me 100k damage. <laughs> How, what level is this thing? 49? Jesus. I'm actually shocked right now. <laughs> I didn't know. Oof. Crazy. And for my boots, Life of Party incoming damage is reduced by 3% for each enemy in close range, stacks up to 8 times. So that's also a really good lifesaver as well. And uh, that uh, other mod I've explained is when I get the shields, right? So I think everything is uh, clear here. If not, comment down below and uh, ask your questions. So for the skills, I'm using uh, Endless Mass. Uh, the trick why I use this is, you know, when you have a lot of multiple targets and they're kind of like scattered around, uh, I, using the skill, I make them to jump there, I run in it, and make the explosions, and they die. <laughs> Usually most of the easy targets, they die with uh, just one explosion. Uh, Trendmore uh, is my healing ability, so it's not my damage or whatever, It's uh, I use it in tar whenever I need to heal myself ASAP. And Golem essentially for protection, uh, also when I'm like at low HP and my Ice Trap has recently triggered or whatever, you know, there could be many different situations, I tap this and I get the Golem protection. So for the class tree, uh, it's absolutely fully into Warden, uh, max health, uh, regeneration, uh, tank, more exp uh, defense, anomaly in veins, uh, da -da -da. increase your, uh, so yeah, HP, defense, defense, yeah, oh yeah, wait, this, this thing actually expands the distance of close range by additional 4 meters, so that's pretty nice. And uh, then defense. Increase your armor by 7% for each enemy in close range. Since I'm always right there in the battlefield, surrounded by enemies, this thing is a must. Uh, also, when enemy dies in your close range, 20% of their armor will be transferred to you for 10 seconds. So more HP, resistance, uh, more tankiness. Uh, gain additional 10 health for each enemy that died at close range. Uh, uh, <laughs> pretty nice thing to have. Armor and essentially increase firepower by 5%, armor capped, and so on and so forth. So, this is what I run it with. Alright, if you got any questions on the build, let me know in the comments. And now we're gonna go and kick some booty. Let's go. Alright, this is so far the only one I can do on tier 15. Well, I haven't actually tried others. <laughs> 
Although I did try to fight the last boss on T15, I almost had him 15% was there. But unfortunately, uh, I did a little mistake and I got into a, a lot of spells and I died. And that battle lasted for 30 minutes. I actually made a video on that. But essentially, this is not top killing build. It's a build that was right allows you that to home. farm uh, legendary weapons and Strange such. Structure. All right. Some kind of switch so over there. Let the party begin, and you will see the build in action. <clears throat> Surround yourself. See, firepower damage not that big. Although the Let's wait for the mother to come out. Boom. And there she comes. Hey, where's she? Get out of here. And there she comes. So ch check this out. She's about to. Boom. Common interrupted her transformation to that thing, as I was talking about. Ah, uh, I didn't unload the attack button. How bad. What was wrong with me? And while basically I'm focusing on her, all other creeps uh, that try to charge me, they die uh, because of my blast. out of the game. Now, let's say I want to pull them up. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, not bad. If I if I made this part with less than three minutes, it's actually good. <laughs> nice view. Although I was making some mistakes. You know. Usually I'm not. Plus it's uh, 10 p.m. my time now. Pretty crazy. All right. Anobelisk yeah, mechanism obelisk. in the middle. Could be the way forward. And I find this one to be the easiest at the moment. Uh, expedition for wardens, tanky builds, because there's we don't have a lot of firepower like other build, uh, other classes. <laughs> I hope they won't nerf the time here as well, because there's a lot of nerfing happening within the game. So have in mind that if something changes, well, apologies, but it changed. Man, my pistols are actually pretty dope. Well, firepower we're doing the same amount of damage. There you go. I'll max ammo now. <laughs> So I'm not even like, you know, focused on surviving because my build is already very tanky. 
but it doesn't mean I need, I need I can fully relax because there are some situations where you to take so much damage that you just chill to be always in the safe zone and you kind of get relaxed so even though you're tanky tanky but you always gotta stay focused like especially like when you're fighting two mothers that thing those chicks are crazy man I hope I'm gonna get a good legendary drop. Usually I get like one legendary, sometimes two. So far I had a I had a case where I got four legendaries three times. That was cool. Felt nice. But usually it's like one or nothing or two. Oh okay, there it goes. He must have. Yeah, it's very easy to get confused. Sometimes I don't want to kind of focus on it. See, I just missed her casting and didn't interrupt. Oh. And she's out of the game. Time, time is good. Actually, with this build, I haven't had the case that I would fail this uh, expedition. Even like to get like the silver reward, I never got silver in this expedition. Always gold. Let's group them up a little bit. Come on. See if we can oh okay this thing is about to end let's go Come on. Now we're getting to the final There's part. A storm brewing. And we have a good amount of time saved. Like, to be honest, if they keep nerfing the times for expeditions, man, there will be no tank classes because everybody going to be focusing on DPS. If that happens, man, I'm just going to well. stop playing this game. Is it triggering I don't really like doing DPS. I like balancing out my character. With DPS, with survivability and stuff like that, I don't like like kill or be killed builds. Like a million damage from one bullet. I'm pretty sure uh, they might even gonna nerf these spots as well, so have that in mind.
Dang it. I don't know how am I doing that. She just dies. This is not the first time it happens. Just one thing. Still didn't understand how the hell that I happened. But I'm gonna try to figure out once I understand that mechanic. That would be freaking awesome. Shoot. See that ice? See, they didn't work. I catched her, but she didn't get it. Oh, she's dead now. These bugs are left and we're done. Goddamn bugs. <laughs> I'm telling you, pretty cool class. Outrider, but I'm gonna work in some way. DPS build. There's a well here, and Spewing with a little bit of energy, it's creating well. the storm. That's what's oh, causing the vibration. Well, come up. At least I know I haven't completely lost my mind. Now I mean, get out of the I got the full set for this armor, all five pieces. Although you really need only three, and uh, that's why I speed it up with this video here to make and see what I can, what sort of magic I can do with that one. Outrider Boom. detected. Come on, Access make it a granted. perfect ending for the video and give me some good. Let's go. Four legendaries. Come on. <laughs> One. <laughs> One. Hey, you got that edge. Ooh, I don't have that one. I haven't seen that one. Let's show you out. Together, why not? Sniper rifle, huh? Mm. Anomaly mutation shoots an, on enemies afflicted by any status condition, multiplicates and mutates into a different one. I don't understand what that means, <laughs> how it works. Shoots a link up to four enemies, sharing 30% of their weapon damage down. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna have to play around and see if I understand. Because uh, at the moment, I just don't get what, what that means. Anyway. <clears throat> Not the best loot, I guess, but you all know the drill. If you found it useful and entertaining and pretty cool, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. 
Nobody see him, nobody can read him, nobody can respond to him. So if you guys want to say, feel free to comment. Just don't swear, that's all I ask. Negative, fe negative positive feedback, I always welcome. If you're new, subscribe. Welcome to ZClan. I'm Gamer Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. If you want to join our Discord, we are over 800 members. Feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description. And uh, if you want to see any of my live streams, the link to my Twitch is also down in the video description. So once again, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go. We are Z Clan, we have a gamer's soul. By the might of the sword, we put the pen to the test. We are Z Clan, we are Z Gamers best. Z Clan! Z Clan! Oh, our hearts and our soul, we will forever know. Our community stronghold, this is our song. Of the heart of the one sort of part, here we will stand a line drawn in the sand. Z -Clan. Z -Clan.